We got a green light. Hello, everybody. Move this is Professor Sting to here again. As promised, I'm doing some more Call of Duty videos, Black Ops 2. Um, this round in particular is a very goofy match that I decided to do because I thought it'd be fun and it'd be a challenge uh, and something that maybe you guys would enjoy a bit more instead of seeing the very traditional cut and dry, running around with SMGs, assault rifles, and all that, killing people. This round on whatever map this is, I forgot the name right now, is pure executioner. I'm running scavenger, uh, I'm not sure what other, what my exact setup is here, and for the executioner itself, I don't know if I have anything equipped on it to be honest, except fast hands, or qu quick mag, whatever it's called, that's something I think I have running on it. Um, my score streak setup is going to be UAV, sentry gun, and a stealth chopper. Now normally I don't run stealth chopper, uh, just because I don't run the bigger score streaks, even though that one isn't a bigger one, I still don't run it generally because I would like to prefer to stay below the 1,000 point streak because I so I can call things in quicker and just just have more fun with it that way. Um, here I get my ass saved, and that was just thanks to a uh, teammate there. So, but anywho. This round, like I said, I hope you enjoy this. This is just pure execution. I'm kind of watching it along with you. This is the first time, or yeah, first time I've watched it since I recorded it. Uh, we did have a really fun. It was really fun to do this. It's really exciting, and I'm hoping I can do more things like this as time goes on. Um, so yeah, just that's kind of the basics of this video. Okay, now on to everything else. <laughs> I have zero strategy with this weapon because there is no strategy with this weapon. The only thing I can honestly say is uh, be very close when you go to kill or stun them or have them damaged beforehand because if you don't, then you're going to have a very bad time. Uh, I run or I ran long barrel on this weapon. However, even with long barrel, it still generally takes four or five shots at any distance. So you literally have to put this gun in their mouth and blow their brains out the back of their head. If you don't, you you can't get kills. Um, so you have to be very close. You have to stay at an uncomfortable pace. Uh, generally, I don't like hanging back. I don't like sitting around at all. I like to rush a lot. That's I try and do it with this weapon as much as I can. But you, you literally, you just can't do it all the time. So that's the biggest reason I'm not. Um, I play very stealthily, sneaky kind of with it. Uh, like I said, there, that was a two-shot kill. But that's just because if you, it was so close, it was directly in his chest. Um, here's my first stealth chopper I get. Um, and to get, I was kind of giddy when this happened because of getting one with this weapon in particular was really fun. Um, I, did, I actually think this is the first round I've ever used the cell chopper. I think I've used some of the other some of the other higher score streaks like AGR and stuff but I don't think I've ever used the cell chopper in general I thought it would just be fun to run it with this setup. Um, I think all my kills except the score with the exception of the score streaks and one knife or all with executioner, so I'm not exactly sure how many I actually got with just with the executioner. Um, there's a prime example of the range of this gun that was roughly probably 10 or 15 feet away, and it it wasn't. It was just getting hit marker after hit marker. Um, uh, one there, you just it magically picks up. Uh, one thing too is these guys would rush me a lot and rush back to the same spot so it was fairly easy to predict their movements and keep a good eye on them uh, so yeah that was that was one pretty fun thing and they were trying to shoot down the dragon fires and the choppers and all that so it was very uh, very it could, it could become a fast paced game for that reason I didn't have to sit around and camp I could continue to keep running because I, I knew what they were going to be doing um, uh, if it wasn't for that a missile I would have probably died there honestly but you know no biggie I'm alive and still kicking um, a lot of this kind of stuff too this is one reason I don't camp is wreck right here it's pointless just to lay down on the ground and take it because the guy with the executioner being a jackass is gonna run up and blow your head all over the floor because you're just laying on your belly shooting someone um, drop shotting and stuff has you know its point its methods and stuff but I mean not methods but it has its uses but 
you know, just laying around doing that stupid. Um, let's see here. Oh, and one thing too, I'm gonna have some more videos as the week comes. I'm gonna try and, like I said, do one every day. Hopefully I can do more of these. If anyone who wants to see more videos like this, tell me or comment, message me or whatever, and I'll try and get some more ridiculous, goofy stuff up. If you wonder why my name is Professor Stinkto, this is why. It's because when I do things, I have a very weird sense of humor and a very goofy sense of humor, so I like to do weird, goofy things, and it carries over to everything in my life, including... <laughs> Playing video games and running around with the worst weapon in the game, killing people. So, yeah, and there is no margin of skill here. Like I've said the, on the other video, I'm not very good at this game. It's just, it's sometimes it's not hard to set things up and you know, just run something. It's common sense. So, um, if I'm rambling like I did on the other one, I'm sorry. I, I just don't. I just kind of start to get off on a tangent and I have a hard time getting off. Um, <laughs> getting off, get it. Um, this is my first death in the game. And I think it's my only death, so yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see what else uh, we have here. Uh, the other, some of the other stuff I've been doing lately is using sniper rifles and stuff more and beginning really annoying with those because a good sniper or someone who doesn't camp with a sniper and can legitimately do it well is very annoying. Um, so I'm with them in this video with. If it wasn't for the V set, I couldn't have done any of that, and I thank my teammates for that very much. So, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, rip, subscribe, please, if you could. And I hope you hear from you guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So, see you later.